Hey everybody, how's it going? I hope you're having a great day. Today I'm going to be doing a tutorial for the song Seven by Catfish and the Bottleman. It's on their new album which came out last month. Um, we're going to need a capo on number three for this one. I'm going to be doing it based on their live versions. There's many live versions on YouTube and I've watched some of those. They use a capo on number three for that. Okay? Um, it's going to sound really nice. Let's get started. Okay, so starting off here on the intro, we're going to play a little variation of a G chord. So we're going to put our index finger on the 2nd string, 3rd fret, and our last two fingers on the 5th and 4th strings of the 5th fret. Okay, so that's a nice sounding chord. Um, the strumming is going to be down, up, 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 up, down, 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 up, up, down, 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 up. So what he's doing is he's playing two bars, or basically eight counts um, of this chord, and then he lifts off with his index finger, plays eight more counts, puts his index finger back, plays eight more counts, um, takes his index finger off and plays eight more counts, and that's the intro. Okay, so it sounds like this. So then that leads us into the verse. The verse, he just leaves his index finger down the whole time. So we're playing that original G chord, G variant, variant chord that I showed you. Larry call a load of smoking. I want to lose a couple days. Probably never struggle coping, but I never want to. Probably again an hour caller. Forget the time, cause I'm seven hours behind. Probably good I didn't but I always want to. Not so then that leads us into the verse. The verse, he just leaves his index finger down the whole time. So we're playing that original G chord, G variant, variant chord that I showed you. Um, doing the down, up, down, up strumming pattern. Um, we're playing a G, and then we're going to add in an E minor, okay? So it'll sound like this. Larry, call a load of smoke. I want to lose a couple days, E minor. Probably never struggled coping. But I never want to. Back to G. Promise again that I would call her. Forget the time, cause I'm seven hours behind. Probably good I didn't call, though. But I always want to. Okay? So once again, um, I'm going to stress that if you're a beginner and you don't like that G chord, just play the normal G chord you're used to playing, this, this basic G chord, it'll sound okay. Alright? One, two. Um, and I'd beg you, but you know I'm never home. And I love you, but I need another year alone. And I try to ignore it every time you phone. But I never come close I don't think through things I never get time Cause I don't think things through Alright, so for the chorus There's some interesting things going on here So basically the chords are just C To E minor To D but he changes it up a little bit. He plays C over G. So um, it's first, uh, second string, first fret, fourth string, second fret, and then sixth and fifth strings on the third fret. That's a C over G. And then he plays a normal E minor. But then he plays a special D. It, his D is basically, it's exactly the same as this C over G chord. It's just everything slid down two frets. So now your index finger is going to be on the second string, um, third fret, and so on. Okay? So C over G to E minor to special D. Okay? I'll stress it again. If you just feel like playing a normal C, a normal E minor, and a normal D, that's fine. But 
If you want it to sound just like he, he does when he plays it, play the, play the chords that I'm showing you, all right? Um, so we're also using a palm mute. So to palm mute, you're gonna wanna, the, the meat of your hand or the palm of your hand is gonna, is gonna be on the strings at the same time as your, so this, this is what a normal strum sounds like. But you wanna silence it a little bit with the palm of your hand, hitting the strings. So it's gonna sound soft. And we're just doing down strumming. Okay, so it sounds like C. So at the end of that chorus, you're playing this C and you're saying, but I never come close. And then you stop palm muting and you play louder. You play the E minor, down, up, down, 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 up. And then you go to the D, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up. Okay? And that leads you into this little uh, transition from chorus to verse where he says, I don't think through things, I never get time. Okay? For that, you're, you're playing a, a bar chord G. Again, play a normal G, but he's playing a bar chord, so that's the way I'm going to show it. And the strumming is going to be down, 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 up, down, 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 up, down, 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 up. Okay, so you go G, and then you go E minor. Okay, so it's it's like this. I don't think through things. I never get tired. I don't think through things. Okay, and that leads you back into the verse where you go back to this special G chord. Alright, so all that they're playing there is a G to an E minor, and this time we're just using a basic G, alright? So the, the basic G that you learn when you start playing guitar. And the way I'm playing that G is I'm putting my third finger on the sixth string third fret, and my pinky finger on the, the first string third fret, and that's going to be my G chord, and then I'm going to sus in the, with my index and finger and my second finger, I'm going to sus in the second string first fret, and the third string second fret. So those are gonna be coming on and off. So the overall strumming is down, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up, down, up, up, down, up. Okay, something like that. And the sussing is gonna be, if I go really slow, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up, down, up, up, down, up. Okay? So if you look on the bottom of the screen, I'll put asterisks next to, next to the strums where you're going to be sussing. So really slow. Then you go to the E minor. That's the solo. And then we're basically going to have an outro section here where we're playing two choruses back to back. The first chorus is played the way that, you, that, that I showed you before. So the C over G to E minor to D. So. And I beg you, but you know I'm not at home. I love you, but I need another second to myself.
Okay, so that's the way you learn the chorus before, and then they repeat it, but they use different chords. So it's just gonna be C chord, to G chord, to D chord, and then back to C. And they repeat that, I think, uh, four times. So it, it goes like, it sounds something like this. I'd beg you, but you know I'm never home. I love you, but I need another you alone. And I try to ignore it every time you phone. See you later. Have fun with it.